Okay, so a lot of people were saying that I ended up missing quite a bit of weapons in my all new V1033 gun showcase, and they were all AK based, so I didn't even know because AKs look all the same to me. So, this is a re upload of that, but with the weapons that I missed. Hopefully, I didn't miss any others. And uh, yeah, let's just start the video here. What's up everybody, Drew back at it again with another video. Today we're going to be looking at a couple of guns that are going to be featured in version 1033. Because I got quite a bit of comments saying that I should just post guns only, so here's that video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ding that bell, and let's just hop into it. So the first one that we're going to be posting here is the PMM Pistol, or Makarov, however you want to call it. It's a neat little addition to the game. Let's take a look at it. So that was the PMM. Let's move on to the next gun here, which is the MK17 SCAR CQC version. That was the SCAR. Let's move on to the next one right here. Here's the other SCAR. That's the DMR version, I believe. MK17 DMR. Let's take a look at it. And that was that. Pretty nice. Moving on to the next one here. We've got the Polish WZ or Z88 Tantal. A lot of people weren't happy about this because they were wondering where the wooden finish is. Because apparently this gun is more prominent with the wooden stuff on it than the, uh, I think it's polymer. Is that polymer? I'm not too sure. But I did see a lot of people complaining about that. But let's move on to the next thing here. Up next we got this more updated version of the AK-74U model. Let's take a gander. You know, I was always a big fan of this weapon, and now to see a newer model and an alpha version, that's badass. And this next one is the AK-74U's alpha variant. Very, very nice. Let's push on to the next one. Next one we got is the AK-105. Let's take a look. Nice. Up next is the AK-105 Alpha variant.
Ooh, little trouble with that secondary skull, but aside from that, very, very nice. These models look fantastic. Let's go ahead and push on to the next one. We now have a more updated version of the SBD, so let's take a look at it. Ooh, nice. I love the sound of that sniper rifle. It's got that kick to it. Let's hope the M24 gets something like that. Moving on to the next thing here. Up next, we got this bad boy, PKM. Pretty cool. But uh, my biggest issue with this is that there's really no feedback on the third person model. Like it's just kind of standing there as the gun shooting itself. There would be a lot of recoil with this weapon, especially when there's no bipod. Oi, devs, when are you gonna add the bipod? Please give it to me, give it to me, give it now. Another thing is that I feel like you shouldn't be able to run with these weapons as fast because they're heavy and they carry a crap ton of ammo, big bullets. But in this day and age, you're still able to run around like a maniac with it. But uh, yeah, moving on to the next weapon here. I was going to talk about the M two four but the developers have asked me not to show it off simply because the audio just isn't with it at the moment but i gotta say the model looks really good watching bolt action is awesome and you know this was actually a gun that was in the game like a long time ago but they took it out because they couldn't do bolt action at the time but now it looks like they're able to do it and it seems to work well it just doesn't have any sound i wonder what it's gonna sound like especially with mixing gone now i wonder who they have to do the sound now they had to get someone soon right in case you don't remember my previous video mixing is the main guy who did the audio for like every single gun everything in the game all that audio was basically done by him and he just got picked up by infinity ward the guys behind the recent call of duty so i wonder what they're doing about that but anyways oh man i can't wait to use this i, I wonder what the sound is gonna sound like this thing should be really loud right man now that mixing's gone i hope they brought someone new who could fill in the void here and get that sound going but uh yeah and that was pretty much all of the new guns and gun sounds and reloads what are your guys' thoughts let me know what you think down below because i'm gonna get the heck up out of here you the fact that I cover games like Brown Brands, then be sure to like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content on Brown Branch or any other game that I decide to cover. And without all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.